Sean Wright's critics say he's put his career before his conscience. He's resigned, but not from his role as South Yorkshire's Police and Crime Commissioner. Instead, he's quit the party he was affiliated with. Labour had called for him to stand down after his part in Rotherham's child abuse scandal. The Deputy Prime Minister, whose constituency is in South Yorkshire, today joined the calls for him to quit. I just think it's what everyone would expect, that people would then uh, accept responsibility and say that it's not appropriate for them to carry on in their jobs. Look, I, I am a South Yorkshire MP. Uh, my constituents in South West Sheffield, I don't think they frankly knew very much about Sean Wright before today. They know a lot more about him today and they certainly have much less confidence in him now as their, as their police and crime commissioner than they did before. So Sean Wright won't be quitting his job based here in Barnsley. The people of South Yorkshire voted him in and only they can get rid of him. But there aren't elections for police and crime commissioner for another two years. So theoretically, Mr Wright can stay here until May 2016. Apart from Sean Wright, which other leaders presided over Rotherham's era of abuse? Roger Stone, Rotherham Council's leader since 2003, resigned earlier this week. Paul Lakin, the current cabinet member for children, has been on the council since 1999, but claims he didn't know the full extent of the scandal. Sonia Sharp, who now lives in Australia, was director of children's services from 2005 to 2008. She says she wishes more could have been done. Joyce Thacker, strategic director of children's services since 2008, has reportedly said that protecting young people from harm is not the responsibility of any single agency. And former deputy leader Jahangir Akhtar today said the council clearly failed young people and no one working there can feel proud. Across South Yorkshire, just 14.5% of voters took part in the ballot, which made Sean Wright the commissioner. That's lower than the national average. Some of the Rotherham residents we spoke to today weren't calling for him to quit. I don't think it makes any, you know, I don't think it would improve the situation. It's happened, hasn't it? I think he knows what's been going off and he ought to sort it out, yes, to be honest. So, yeah, I think he ought to stay for now and then have a look at it another two or three months down. Another two or three months down is not going to make any difference, is it, now? Are you surprised that he's staying where he is, though, in his job? Yeah, I am, yeah. If that were an ordinary person, they'd go, wouldn't they? They'd get sacked. Sean Wright has reiterated his apologies for the past and stressed he's the man to ensure the vulnerable are protected in the future.